Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're here at Big Tire Garage where all the tires come to get famous. We're here with my man, Ian, and we've got some cool stuff to show you today. That's right, today we're talking about torches, mainly the Oxy Fuel Torch, and here are five things that you need to know if you're gonna own an Oxy Fuel rig. Number one. All right, settle down, settle down there, coupon cowboy. I'm just trying to give her the beans, Ian. That's right, well, you gotta set your pressures and use this little chart right here. We have three of them. We have acetylene fuel, we have propylene, and then we have propane and propane accessories and natural gas, but we're using this one right here. So we're gonna look on this uh, cutting chart, determine the thickness of the material that we're cutting, and that's gonna tell us what pressure to set the acetylene and the oxygen. You just can't turn it all the way up? No. Why is it all red right here? Because that, that's the danger. Oh, it says too high. That's too high, yeah. How thick you want to cut today? We're gonna go quarter inch. Quarter inch, so we need a double lot tip. We need to go with a oxygen pressure between 20 and 25. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still too many beans. I, I and, and acetylene pressure between three and five. And you have to have these cracked so that you can get that correct working pressure, right? Correct. Three and five. Three and five. Right in the middle there. All right. Now we can cut. Number two. What? Oh, you're cutting quarter inch. Dish hold. Close enough. No, that's three eighths, and that's not e that's not even the right tip. What? what that's a propane tip. You can tell. Propane tips are two pieces. And then if that's three eighths plate, if you want to cut three eighths plate, you need a single aught tip. Right there. Single one zero. One zero. What it on that card. Okay. And then if you were to go thicker, I have a single one tip. That's going to be for like three quarters. Now I got one back home. It's a three zeros. That's the small. That's eight. That's really, really small. Thin so the more zeros, the thinner we get. That's right. So put this tip in this torch and then you can cut your three. Thanks, Ian. Well, that's what I'm here for, man. Hey, hey buddy! Number three. Makes me so nervous. I've trained myself not to blow it in my face. Yeah, Lee. Something's wrong with this damn thing. No, no, not really. So, would you like me to show you how to pierce material that thick? I guess, because it don't burn my beard off. Right. It's it's pretty easy. Let me step. Okay. Step one, we're going to draw a circle. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Start by drawing the circle that we're going to cut, which is that. But we're not going to pierce at the edge of the circle. We're going to pierce in the middle of the circle, and then we're going to work our way out and then cut around. Cut around the meat. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we're going to start far away, and then... Eat our way into that piece of plate. And we'll also wear a full face shield. So that way, if we do eat the sparks, we don't eat them in our beards. Yeah, the, the beard is uh, is crucial to keep. It's I don't have a chin, Ian, so the, the little bit of beard I got it helps out. I'm helps my chin. I look like Bob from Bob's Burgers if I don't have this thing. See, I'm, I'm similar, except I have two of them. <laughs> Point that thing at me, man. I like to eat it up until I see the little jumpers jumping away. Little bubbly guys. Yeah. It's almost like it's molten. It's coming there. It's... So not yet. Oh, I see a little puddle forming. There it is. There it is. So wait for the puddle. Yep. Wait for the way out to be careful. So you cooked that one. The forbidden lollipop. Right? Oh! 
Here's another thing. Number four. Here's another tip, right? When you're Roxy through a building, right? What does this sound mean? Might not be able to get it to do it, but it's pretty new. You're talking about backfiring? Yeah, I'm trying to get it to pop. There it is. <laughs> I don't know what that sound means. It's just it's just getting too hot. Number five. When you're cutting, if you go too slow, it starts to weld itself back together. That seems to be a problem. That's the biggest thing. People, they'll get in with the oxy fuel, and they'll start cutting, and they just want to go slow, right? Because so it's like, oh, it's so slow. But if you have the right tip and the right pressure, you should actually travel at a fairly decent speed. You're trying to pay attention to that curve width. Yep. You can see now there's not a much orange or red. There's not a lot of heat input next to your cut so you make a much cleaner cut and things drop out they don't weld back together there you go so that's your last two tips if it's snap crackle and popping it's too hot or moving too slow okay and if it's welding back together torch is moving too slow Well, gee whiz, Ian, I really appreciate all those tips today. Which one's the single lot, the double lot, or the propane one? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on the next one, guys. Tip number, what camera are we talking to? Uh, which camera do you talk to? I actually didn't pay attention to which one I was talking to. <laughs> Your poor editor.